morning. Boy, do I have something good planned for today. The cows need hay again. And it is not Thursday. So that does not make me quite happy. They've destroyed their redneck hay ring. But yesterday I had a brainstorm. So, Harley, here, come grab some of these. Back it. My old. Here, grab some of these small pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's kind of big. I'm just going to use these to shore up the corners. Oh, seven, eight. So, yesterday, I hatched a plan. And honestly, if I hadn't... Oh, that one's attached. Oh, my God. Uh, got any other small pieces? No, I guess not. I'll have to go with this one. Yesterday, I hatched a plan. I'll stick them in the quad. I'm going to show you guys what that plan is. Kind of excited, I ain't gonna lie. I hope it works out as I uh, have thought it would. All right, let me catch you up. So, y'all know the back garden where I had those hardwood skids, and I put them up thinking it would make a good garden fence, and it didn't, and they fell over. Yesterday, I was back there and I got to thinking, those might make a good round bell feeder. So, hubby wanted me to take it down. <laughs> he didn't say I couldn't relocate it. <laughs> All right, let me show you what we've done here. Okay, these are the skids, just to show you. These are all hardwood, and I think each one of these I think each one of these must weigh 100, 150 pounds. So these are no, give you an idea of size. I'm guessing these are two and a half inches almost by three. So like these are no little pallets. These are very heavy skids. And so what we've done is we've now extended the cow paddock up here. So we'll have kind of a straight shot, just a gentle grade right in here between this equipment and then down to the barn via the driveway. So this, I won't get stuck in the mud and we'll just come right around up here. We'll drop this fence like I do here and I'll drive right in, probably take out this tree branch. I'm gonna have to cut that down, this one right here. It's just little. Uh, and then I'll be able to drop the bale in and back up. Now, as you can see, these are pretty good sized holes. The cow should be able to easily access the hay um, my only concern would be Rebel when he gets bigger. So my concern would be Rebel when he gets bigger and that's because his horns will grow and these won't be conducive of a horned cow. Mocha's different because hers kind of sit up on top of her head. So it's a little bit different. So I don't think we're gonna have much trouble with the cows getting their heads stuck. I think there's plenty of room I think this is going to be a better solution and I only have two and these are pretty sturdy. Wait till I get all four put on. This thing isn't moving and with it weighing as much as it does, Mocha's not going to be able to get her horn in and flip it like she does the cattle panel. So I'll put you guys on a time lapse real quick while we finish putting these two up and I brought up a couple little pieces of wood that I can share up the corners with to make it super sturdy. Although, I don't think I'm going to need it on some of them, so we'll see. I'll just put you guys on a time lapse and we'll get this thing finished.
All right, so we got it all put together. That thing is sturdy. That, uh, that wood is so hard and so dense that it actually like breaks the heads off of my screws. That's, it, it's, it's some heavy stuff. It is. I had Caleb cut me down a tree that was in my way, but I wanted to show you. So this is January 3rd, 2024 in Pennsylvania, mind you. Do you see this new growth on the sassafras tree? Insane. I have grass growing. I mean, albeit slow because there's not a whole lot of, a whole, look, at the, look at all those buds. It does really look like March and April out here. He's gonna come back and clean up the rest of that tree, but look at, look at all these. This whole thing is just loaded with buds. Un now. Yeah, well, these ones are dead now, but that tree was crooked anyways. It wasn't a really great keeper tree, so yeah. Let's try this one on for size, guys. Time to go get hay. All right, guys, check it out. So far, so good. It worked just how I hoped it would. Look, Mocha's even got her head in there. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Why haven't I thought of this sooner? <laughs> this is awesome. This makes me happy. Redneck hay ring 2.0. Is that what we're calling this? Again, I wouldn't suggest doing it if you had regular pine pellets, pallets, not pellets, pallets. These are serious hardwood oak skids and they're really made sturdy. So we're just gonna keep an eye on this. I mean, as you guys know, I'm up here with these cows every day. So we're gonna keep an eye on it, make sure nothing's falling apart, nothing's getting broken. We're gonna make adjustments as needed, but yeah, I think this one's gonna work, guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I don't wanna get too excited because you know what happens. When you get too excited, that's when things go south. All right, we're gonna go give the sheep some hay. Okay, sheep have their hay. Huh. Harley's feet are freezing off. I'm gonna throw the strings away and we're done for the day. So we will see you guys tomorrow. We have much more in store. Talk to you then. Bye. Bye.